Throughout most of human history, humans' primary source of energy was wood, which we burned to keep us warm and cook our food. However, over the past 200 years or so, this has changed dramatically. Although many people in developing countries still rely on wood as their primary form of energy, the rest of the world consumes huge amounts of non-renewable energy resources, like coal, oil, and natural gas, which we refer to as fossil fuels, and nuclear energy. In the past 50 years though, there has also been a massive rise in the use of a new generation of renewable resources, including solar, wind, hydroelectric, geothermal, biofuels, tidal, and many more. And we'll take a closer look at each of these types in other videos. Now, the first thing we need to look at is what all of this energy is actually used for. Here in the UK, most of our energy goes on either transport or domestic uses. Transport refers to things like cars, trains, planes, and ships, to name just a few, and primarily relies on petrol and diesel in the case of road vehicles, and kerosene for planes, which are all created from oil and are thus fossil fuels. Traditionally, trains were powered by coal, which helped drive the Industrial Revolution after coal was found in Britain. But now, most trains are powered by electricity. More recently, there's been an increase in the use of biofuels, which are created from renewable sources like plants, and also an increase in the use of electric cars. Domestic uses, on the other hand, refers to household things, like cooking and heating. For heating, our main source of energy is natural gas, which is burnt to heat water. We then pump this hot water into our radiators, and the thermal energy is transferred to the air in our rooms to keep us warm. Another non-renewable source of heat is coal, which can be burned in fireplaces. There are those some rarer renewable sources of heating as well. Solar water heaters work by using the sun's energy to heat water, which can then be pumped through the radiators in our houses, while biofuels can be burned for heat in a similar manner to coal. Now, the last thing that we want to mention is that electricity by itself isn't renewable or non-renewable. It all depends on how it's made. This pie chart here shows the main sources of electricity in the UK. As you can see, almost 60% is from fossil fuels, and non-renewables together make up nearly 80%. So the vast majority of our electricity is from non-renewable resources. Anyway, that's all for today. So if you enjoyed it, then please give us a like and a comment, and we'll see you next time.